Hey everyone, this is New York Beauty XOXO here with another video. This video is going to be called Most Underrated Product from the Drugstore. Um, I don't hear anyone mention these and I think they're awesome. Um, just excuse my undermade face and hair. Okay, um, let's get started and it's going to be a quick one, a quick video. Anyway, um, I was just going through all my stuff and I realized that I have these and they are great and I'll even do a couple swatches to show you how awesome they are. Once again, I'm in my pajamas. Okay, let's get started. As far as nail polishes, I never really hear anyone talk about these, but they're excellent and they're wet and wild. They're the Mega Last. That's the, um, the type. I don't know if they have more than one nail polish. It's the Mega Last, and I've had these for a couple years now, and they're great. Um, these are, how much are these each? The ticket says $1.99, it's incredible. Um, I would put these up against a lot of drugstore nail polishes and, and a couple of uh, higher end ones too. So um, yeah, I mean, I do like the Sally Hansen uh, line as well, but um, like I said, this is underrated video and these are underrated because they're excellent excellent um it's worth your two dollars okay um even if you can afford higher it's worth your two dollars um another brand of lipstick i don't hear that much about only once in a while maybe a couple of girls will talk about it but it's the not the katie perry line it's just the cover girl lipsticks um this tag says 749 but i live in new york and uh everything's more expensive here it may be cheaper elsewhere and you might be able to get buy one get one i have spellbound number 325 and darling no delicious and 340 i apologize i thought that was darling but it's delicious and um i'm wearing um spellbound right now it's just beautiful on the lips i love them what a good quality lipstick like I said, I love my Wet n Wilds for $1.99, but this is an underrated video, and um, I think that these are underrated, absolutely. I think I feel like people talk more about the Maybelline and not the CoverGirl, um, and I I will I will suggest both of them, but I really like this. These lipsticks are amazing. Um, another thing that you don't hear that much about is the individual Ulta eyeshadows. This is the Ulta brand. Back in the day I bought these before I really knew about makeup palettes and makeup. And yeah, they're probably bad and need to be thrown out, but the quality of the eyeshadow is better than drugstore. It really is. They're buttery. They're creamy. They don't, you know, go away. They're just uh, beautiful. And a couple of the colors I have is... Um, Luster, suede, and seashell, and they're just lovely, and you get a lot of product. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't just, you know, if you see like one color, you know, you'll use a lot, like maybe a transition shade, a black, um, a color that you'll use a lot, like a medium brown, or you know, even just um, a highlight shade, like a creamy matte. I, I would recommend getting in a larger pan because you know you're going to use that a lot. And then go for other, you know, palettes and stuff for your, you know, switch up colors. But, you know, to get a color that you personally use a lot. I recommend the Ultas. They're great. Um, another product, this is just an individual product that I love so, so much, is the NYX Roll On Shimmer. Uh, it's a, just a roll on shimmer, but it's really an eyeshadow. And this is what I'm going to do a swatch for you. This is one swatch. And you can see... Um, it's, well, maybe because there's so much light coming from my window, but it's shimmery. It is pigmented. It, it It's just crazy. Maybe you could see better there. This color, I tend to gravitate towards taupes. Um, this is called Walnut, but I want to go back and get this in every single color. Um, I do, and uh, I got this at Target, and is there a price? I don't see one. I don't think this is more than $4.99 because I don't go that way. But yeah, this is an amazing product. I highly recommend it. It's not going anywhere. I used to work shifts at the restaurant for like eight hours running around sweating. And this thing would not budge off my eye. And I wouldn't even have a primer on. I'm telling you, this is worth it. It's an underrated product. I've never, ever seen anyone discuss this. Maybe one time I've seen someone use it. It's worth it. And it ha I think they have about eight colors maybe. Um, just the basics, a couple purples, maybe a blue, but I would definitely get this product. 
Um, another thing that I really like are the individual Milani shades. This is in the color Bella Mandarin. It's like an orangey color. I was going through an orange phase once and um, it's beautiful. I mean, these might be a little bit more pricier than the Ulta. It's a satin matte, but um, I've seen a lot of people hype these up when they first came out, but then didn't talk about it again. Well, I'm going to bring it up again. These are great shadows. And like I said, if you're just a one eyelid kind of girl or, you know, it's worth it just to get that one eyeshadow because you know that this one is going to be worth it and it's going to, it's not going to be a $20 Urban Decay single. It's going to be a lot less and you have it for years. It's, it's just a good, good option. Another thing I don't hear much about as far as blushes, I do like the Ulta just in the square pans that I had brought up in a previous video if you saw that I do like these but something this is a non hyped up product the Revlon matte blushes this says it was $9.99 it's in barely buff but this it, it barely has a dent I've had this for so long like I have to throw it out before I use it up it's just beautiful you probably can't even see that but it's beautiful and it's a quality quality blush the packaging may have even changed since then, but um, I got this at CVS, $9.99, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. And they're always doing buy one, get one sales that, you know, you might want to give it a shot one day and you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's a product, another product that I don't hear much about. Um, I think that is it. That's all my products I wanted to talk about. Some underrated things that, um, also another thing that's kind of underrated is the the brushes by Sonia Kashuk. Um, I know people hype up Morphe a lot and Sigma, but you know what though? I'm not getting paid by those companies. So as much as I love Sigma brushes, I'm not getting paid. So therefore, it's truthful when I say something. <laughs> um, this is a little brush set that I got for um, the holiday time. It only came with a bunch of brushes. This is like a little... I use this for like a bronzer or a touch-up brush and, you know, some eyeshadow brushes. Um, it's good quality. It's cute. It comes with a little case. And I can't see this being more than like $15 at Target. Um, you get a cute little bag with it. It's all matching. And I got this for Christmas. It was part of the holiday collection. But after the holidays, these go on sale 50% off. So keep that in mind. Always check out the Sonia Kashuk brushes. Um going on sale because they might be a little bit overpriced for the you know the quality or where they're being sold but um like I said they do go on sale you know like come February I'm sure this holiday print on the brushes alone would be you know uh discounted because they're moving into spring and summer and they're just they're good quality so you know, another underrated product I don't hear many people talking about. That's my second set from um, Sonia Kashuk, and I really enjoy it. So that is about it. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Some underrated products you might pass along in the drugstore, wherever you are in Target, and say, hey, you know what? I heard that this is good. Let me give it a shot. I would say if I had to choose one out of all of them, go get this shimmer. Go get it. Go get it. It's amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Anyway, this is New York Beauty XOXO. Have a great day. Happy summer. And I will see you in my next video.